even in the middle of challenges, China continues to grow when it comes to shaping their economic stability through their amazing and super technological breakthroughs and innovation. Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. And we are back again today to give you another wonderful video. So before we get started, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. So today, we present to you some of the most incredible latest technological breakthroughs and innovation taking place in China. And so without further ado, let us take you to our video. Number 1. China goes high-tech in current situation. China is combating the outbreak with its tech prowess. A smart mobile robot with functions like facial recognition and temperature screening is patrolling. It can simultaneously track 30 plus people and tell whether they are wearing masks. 3D printed quarantine rooms developed by a company in Suzhou are aiding the outbreak fight in Hubei. Each room is 10 square meters with air conditioner, a bathroom and shower facilities for patients. Chinese scientists are racing to make scientific and technological breakthroughs in outbreak. Number 2. Chinese research vessels set sail for the first deep sea research mission. Chinese research vessel Tansuo 1 set sail from South China's Hainan province, carrying manned submersible deep sea wire for the first deep sea scientific research mission. With 60 scientific researchers on board, the 20-day trip will complete the parameter measurement and sample collection of marine life marine geology and physical oceanography in the South China Sea. Number 3. Tank-like robots play their part in the cleanup. These robots look like tanks, but they are a fraction of the size. And their mission is to disinfect the roads, buildings, corridors, and parking lots. They can carry 200 kilograms of disinfectant, disinfect 10,000 square meters in 15 minutes and have a remote control range of a whooping 1,000 meters. Number 4. Work starts on 800 billion yuan projects in Zhejiang. Work started on 537 projects with a total investment of 886.4 billion yuan in Jiaxian County of Jiaxing City, East China's Zhejiang Province. These projects are part of the integrated development of the Yangtze River Delta, with a total annual planned investment of 147.3 billion a year, averaging 1.65 billion per project. Number 5. 
Number 5. Giant leaf-shaped steel trusses installed at East China Convention Center site. How can you balance the built and natural world? Take a leaf out of this convention center project in Shandong, East China, which will feature 78 giant willow leaves weighing 5,000 tons. Watch how they are being hoisted into the sky. Number 6. World's longest gas pipeline benefits more than 300 million people. In the city of Horgas in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, a quality inspector showed up at 10 a.m. sharp to start her daily work at the Horgas metering station of the China-Kazakhstan Natural Gas Pipeline. She and her colleagues' job are to complete 12 inspections on a daily basis to ensure the delivery of more than 100 million cubic meters of gas. Number 7. Handheld device help medics positioning veins. One downside for medics treating patients is that the protective gear they wear affects movement and perception, especially when inserting needles. A product offers solution. Watch. Number 8. Where Deep Sea Species Found by Chinese Research Vessel China's research vessel Kuxue explores the cold steeps in the South China Sea, rarely seen marine species such as armored shrimps brown mussels and alvin shrimps have been found. They inhabit about 1,000 meters below sea level. Cold seeps may hold the evolution of life on Earth and biodiversity. Number 9. No need to press elevator button with this new technology. An elevator no contact device developed by a Chinese tech company has made pressing button unnecessary, reducing risk of cross infection during outbreak in China. Number 10. Home body economy gains steam amid the outbreak. Watch this how the home body economy helps contribute to our resilient Chinese economy in the teeth of the outbreak.
And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, Mitchell Aguilar here. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.